Hey everybody, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and welcome to another classic Bionicle review. And this one, I am going to be taking a look at a limited, well, maybe not all that limited edition, considering that you can build this from parts that you've already got, which in my case, I have. Well, actually, I did have to purchase a couple of them off of Bricklink, but anyway, this is a clack. And the uh, clacks are a type of Rahi that were released, I believe, as a little promotional thing at uh, the time that the uh, that the 2008 sets were being released. You could like get one of these uh, w like for free with one of those purchases at the time. I mean, you can't get them now because um, Generation One has been long over. And we are in Generation 2 now. So, anyway. Uh, for those that don't know what these things are, in the story, the clacks are these kinds of creatures that you would find in Cardanui. And uh, what they would do is, if there was any Matoran that was infected by one of the Brotherhood of Makuta members, like, they just turned the Matoran... Um, into Shadow Matoran. The, the clacks here, they could reverse those effects right here. These clacks can change a Shadow Matoran back into whatever type of Matoran they were before. So, like, for example, all the Matoran, well, most of the Matoran on Car the Nui were Ob Matoran that got affected, and the clacks could just change them back to the type of Matoran that they were before. So there, that's pretty useful here. Now I think that um, there is no uh, information regarding any surviving clacks, considering that Cardanui was destroyed at the end of the 2008 storyline. But there could still be some in existence, but I haven't uh, read any record of them uh, still being in existence. So... For the information that I have, at the time of the recording of this video, there is no record of these things existing. And if you actually know if these things are still alive or not, well, good for you. But when I'm recording this, I don't know. Alright, so enough about the backstory about these guys. Why don't we take a look at the actual, uh, the actual model itself. Alright, so... What is it built using? Well, it uses a Toa in Inaika main body piece, it uses a white one, as well as this piece right here, which has been used for a lot of Bionicle sets since uh, 2004. It's been quite used a lot throughout the uh, throughout Generation One from that point onwards. I think it's a retired piece now. Since we're in Generation 2 now, and we switched to the modern character and creature building system. And this thing also has four of these claw things. Um, I think that they first debuted in the, uh, in 2008. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I can't think of any, uh, set from before then that they could have appeared in. So, there are like four of those, you know, front and back, four of those things, so that's good. Also has these black wings from, um, what was his name? I can't remember his name, I'm sure somebody will remember, but uh, they're the wings from the uh, black uh, Makuta from 2008, the black bad guy of of the of 2008 the first wave of 2008 can't remember his name though and the head here it uses a Toa Metru style head though it uses the shorter eye stud piece with the pinhole at the back which was first introduced to my knowledge with Toa Mari Kongu and it's been used in a couple of other sets since then and there are also these engine things that are on the side of his head. I think that uh, Tahu had these 
Golly had these, Onua had them, only in Onua's case they were red. Not sure if they have been in any other set that same year. I know that they were released in other sets after 2008. I'm pretty sure that they were available with the uh, 2009 Titan set, some of those new vehicle sets. And I think that they've also been used in some Hero Factory sets, such as for the Ferno Bike. But I'm not quite sure if there are other sets besides those ones that were released in 2008. I think the second wave of 2008 introduced them, but I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyway, that is about it. That is the Clack. Certainly an odd-looking uh, character right here. I know some people probably don't like it. It's not the best model that LEGO has brought us. But it's, it's kind of a decent one, in my opinion. But what do you think? Do you like this clack? Do you not? Feel free to leave your own opinions, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. I personally kind of have a, some mixed feelings for this one. Not quite sure if, it, if it's a good uh, set. I mean, it was good enough for me to actually make it. Sure, it looks a bit odd, but it does look pretty decent. But what do you think? That's about it for this one, and I will see you next time.